Okay, so we're going to talk real quick about squeeze bunts. So, you know, I'm not a fan of squeeze bunts. I don't think they make a lot of sense for the offense. I think sometimes they can. But in most situations, you know, if you have a runner on third with less than two outs, which is the only time you would obviously do this, you know, they're going to score 85% with no outs, and they're going to score, I think, 60 68 percent of the time with one out from third anyway so unless your hitter is really really inept and the infield's in which they would be in this situation you know it's not going to make a ton of sense to squeeze you're going to score that run a lot of the time and you know obviously if you miss the squeeze they're going to be out at third base and with the pop-up you know the inning's gonna be over so if a team squeezes i think it's a risky play for them so i'm not overly concerned about how we do it but in general, obviously, if they get the bunt down correctly, you have no play at the plate. You know, it's a it's a good play. Ditto with the safety squeeze, um, which I have here. Well, I thought I did. Um, you know, ditto with the safety squeeze. If they do it right, oh yeah, I do have it. Here we are, safety squeeze. So the only difference in the safety squeeze is obviously they're waiting to see that the bunt gets down in this in the true squeeze play. They're gonna just bunt and the runner's gonna be sprinting and it's gonna be a do or die kind of thing. So, you know, with the safety squeeze or the regular squeeze, if they get the bunt down, it's not the worst bunt in the world. You really can't defend on against it. That's just how it is. So again, they're playing for one run. If they want to do that, go for it. You know, and really just in general, the pitcher just needs to sprint. You know scoop it with his glove or scoop it with his hand or whatever he needs to do and just get the ball into the catcher's mitt as fast as he can. So there's not a huge secret to it. It's just about, you know, really more for the pitcher. If you do recognize squeeze, can you ride a fastball up and in, try to get him to miss the bunt or pop it up or something like that? Other than that, you know, they're either going to put a bad bunt down and you're going to get him at the plate or you're, they're going to put a good bunt down and there's nothing really you can do about it. So pitchers, if, you know, you have to take more than a couple steps to get to that bunt, um, you know, you just got to go to first, get one out. You know, that's the biggest thing we need to do is just get one out. So uh, whether it's a safety squeeze or the regular squeeze, again, can't, defund, can't defend against a well-executed safety squeeze or suicide squeeze. Uh, it's very easy to, to defend when they screw it up, but you have to just judge for yourself. If you have to take more than a couple of steps, whether you're third, first, or pitcher, if you have to take more than a couple of steps, you're not going to get the guy at the plate, so just go to first. And obviously the second baseman here, if the first baseman crashes, which he needs to kind of pay attention, he's going to have to be the one to cover first base. So there's someone there to take the throw. All right, so that's pretty much it. That's that's kind of long and the short of uh, uh, safety squeeze and the suicide squeeze, which, you know, that plays going out of style a little bit, especially at the higher levels of baseball. But, again, we need to cover it just to make sure everyone's on the same page about what we're trying to accomplish.